this experiment we are going to generate and demonstrate the me measurement of amplitude peak to peak voltage frequency and time period of uh, ac sinusoidal waveform using cro and function generator so once we get the sinusoidal waveform we should measure the peak voltage from the x axis to the tip of the sinusoidal waveform this is a peak voltage and this is peak to peak voltage the positive peak and negative peak if i measure it becomes a peak to peak amplitude voltage and the time duration from zero to end of this 360 degree this is our period so measure the time period and apply the formula f is equal to 1 by t to find out the frequency this is cro this is signal generator so the signal generator will generate the sinusoidal waveform and that's generated sinusoidal waveform we will see it in a cro so first we should turn on the cro cro is turned on so once cro is turned on we should check whether cable is working or not we will check how to uh, do the uh, checking of the cable once the cro is turned on all these knobs should be in outer direction you should not be in inside if it is inside you press and bring it back and this should be in extreme left position this should be in extreme left position this should be in ac position because we are measuring sinusoidal voltage amplitude this should be in left position after keeping all these things now we will test the cable connect the positive wire of the positive cable of the cro to the test position to ground so we should get i am keeping the cro probe in channel 2 because i have connected this to channel 2 so this is upper position bringing up and down here i am getting a square wave form if i get a square wave form the cable is working the second cable also yeah, we'll check in the uh, channel 1 the position in channel 1 position okay then positive of the cro to the test point negative to the ground so we, again we i am keeping uh, the cro probe in channel 2 only channel 2 only by wearing this time per division knob i should get a square wave form so cable 1 is working and cable 2 is also working so we'll connect the second probe to signal generator output we will connect positive of the cro probe to positive of the signal generator probe and negative to negative this is the waveform sinusoidal waveform there, there is a option to choose the different waveforms triangular waveform pulse sinusoidal waveform square waveform i am choosing triangular waveform i am choosing sinusoidal waveform and here you can change the frequency 10 kilohertz 100 kilohertz i want to fix the frequency at 1 kilohertz so i'll reduce it 1 kilohertz here also you can vary the frequency using frequency knob so i'll keep this frequency at 1 kilohertz exactly okay i kept at 1 kilohertz so now we will check the waveform in a cro so this is time per division of by varying this we can change the frequency and by varying this you can change the amplitude so you adjust the amplitude so that you can read the amplitude peak to peak amplitude this much i am keeping now now the amplitude is very high i am not able to read it you reduce the amplitude i reduced it now we will measure the peak amplitude peak amplitude for that first you should keep this knob in a ground position and adjust this horizontal line exactly on the x axis using this position knob now it is exactly on the x axis 
i'll release this to i'll release this to ac so i got it now you count how many divisions have covered we have cover, it has covered from the x axis from x axis it has covered one full division one full box 1 2 3 after 3 little it has gone up one small division is 0.2 so i'll consider this as 1 2 3 3.1 3.1 .1. .1 into i have kept the knob at 0.2 that we will write it in a book so i'll write peak voltage as 3.1 into 0.2 volts so how much you will get to 6.0.62 volts this is 0.622 volts now we will measure peak to peak voltage to measure peak to peak voltage we should adjust this negative tip on the one of the line now we will count the divisions 1 2 3 4 5 after 5.2 5.4 5.6 5.8 5.8 into 0.2 5.8 into 0.2 volts 5.8 into 0.2 how much 1.16 this is peak to peak voltage now we will measure the time period to measure the time period i should adjust the tip of the positive peak on exactly on the center using the horizontal position so from here to here how much it has covered one complete division from here to here this tip to this tip one division one into time per division i have kept at 1 millisecond that i'll write now 1 into 1 millisecond 1 into 1 millisecond so how much it is 1 milli second so how to calculate frequency f is equal to 1 divided by t 1 divided by 1 milli second is 10 to the power minus 3 1 divided by 1 is 1 10 to the power minus 3 if it goes up it becomes plus 3 so it is 1 kilo hertz so that will check it in a signal generator see in signal generator we have adjusted the frequency to 1.00 kilo hertz and the same reading we are getting in our notebook so whatever we have done it is correct